Hi, Randy Johnson here. Thank you for joining me for this series on the absolute essentials of faith. This week, we're talking about four baptisms you need. Four, that's right. Let's watch the video and find out what it's all about. Okay. Now, the interesting thing is that in this passage of Scripture we read this morning, which was our text, it talks about doctrine of baptisms, meaning that there are more than one. How many baptisms do you think there are talked about in the New Testament in Scripture? I have to be careful when I ask these questions because sometimes people get the right answer and then I feel like deflated. But how many baptisms do you think there are recorded in the New Testament that Christians are supposed to go through? Somebody just throw a number out. Two. That's probably what's most commonly believed. Anybody have a different number? You may find this hard to believe. But there are four baptisms we should experience as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ that are meant to produce a permanent change in our lives. Four. I'll go ahead and enumerate them for you, and I'm going to go through all four of them today. That's where I'm having mercy and just going to give you the first. The first baptism is baptism by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ. This is, this is important that you get this correct. Baptism by the Holy Spirit. What does that mean? That means the Holy Spirit does the baptizing. The Holy Spirit is the baptizer. The second baptism is baptism in water as a testimony of our faith in Jesus Christ. That is a baptism where another believer is the baptizer. Now, in each of these, baptize, in each of these baptisms, it is, it is us who is being baptized. It's us, the believer, the person who is being baptized. We're always the baptizee. We're always the baptismal candidate. What changes is who is doing the baptizing and what we are being baptized into. The first baptism is baptism by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ. The second baptism is baptism by another believer into physical water. The third baptism is baptism by Jesus from heaven into the Holy Spirit. And that is both a spiritual baptism and a physical baptism. Why? Because something happens in your spirit when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, but he's like rivers of living water flooding up within you, and he comes out of the spiritual realm and manifests his presence in the physical realm. That's what happened on the day of Pentecost. We'll get to that later. I don't have time for that today. The fourth baptism is the baptism the one ever, nobody ever wants to talk about and that nobody ever really wants to experience. And the fourth baptism is the baptism of fire. John the Baptist, when he introduced Jesus into his public ministry, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. But he also said, I baptize with water for repentance, but after me comes one mightier than I, the latchet of whose sh shoes I am unworthy to untie. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So that's the fourth baptism. So here they are again. Number one, baptism by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ. Number two, baptism in water by another believer. Number three, baptism in the Holy Spirit by Jesus. And number four, baptism of fire. And we're going to cover those here in the next few Sundays. I said this morning, though, in the time that I have left, I want to cover number one, the first baptism. The first baptism is baptism by the Holy Spirit into the body of Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, 13 says this, 
For by one spirit, notice, notice the phrasing there, by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, the body of Christ. The Holy Spirit does the baptizing, and it baptizes us into the one body. Everyone is baptized if they are a born-again child of God. Everyone is baptized by the Holy Spirit into the same body. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you can have notifications of future videos. Also, be sure to leave some comments down below. God bless you. Have a good week.